Hi, I'm Emma from Double Stitch Creations. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be continuing to work on our Hippo Snuggie blanket. In the first tutorial, which is linked in the description below, we worked on the Snuggy Granny Square Star part of the blanket of our Hippo. And then today I'd like to work on the arms and the flower. And in the next tutorial we can do the head, but you can do that in any order that you like. So on this one, I really would like to add the dark purple head and arms. That's just my preference. I thought it'd make a nice contrast with the light purple. So I've pre-made it and I will attach that at the end of these um, tutorials. However, using dark purple in a tutorial is probably not a great idea if you want to see what I'm making. So for this tutorial, um, as a sample, I'm going to use the lighter colour purple, this colour purple. Um, yeah, so that you can see what I'm making and I'll be able to use the pieces for another toy later on or even a hippo teddy, um, not a blanket. So that's okay, but I just thought I'd show you, show you what I'm doing or what I'm planning. Alright, so I'll put these away now because we don't need them right now. And what you'll need today is your 3.5 millimeter hook, some hobby fill. I'm using eucalyptus fiber because that's my favorite and it's so lovely and soft and all natural, of course. And then you'll need a tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, and colored yarn. Well, actually, a couple of colors because you'll need colors for the flower as well. So I'm going to make my flower in pink and light purple and the arms for the hippo will be in light purple and you'll need to make two yarns. I'll show you how to do the first one and then you just rewind the video and make the second arm. So let's get started. So once again we'll start with our slip knot. So I leave a tail, wrap it around our finger twice. So you've got two loops pulling the front loop over, sorry, pulling the back loop over the front loop, grabbing the tail, wrapping it in front of the loop that's still on your finger, and once more pulling the back loop over the front loop so that you have your slip knot that you can put on your hook and pull and tighten as needed. We are going to chain two, so yarn over, pulling that yarn back through the loop and hook, that's one. Yarn over and pulling that loop back through. Pulling that yarn back through the loop and hook, that's two. And we are going to put in the second chain on the hook. I've got my, my pink tapestry needle, which is good for this. <laughs> Alright, so in the here's our hook, then you've got your first chain, which is twisting a bit. This is our first chain. And this is a second, so we can't crochet into the first because it's just going to do when we go into the second. And if you follow the tail through to the bottom loop of the chain and just pull it out, you'll actually see where your stitches are going to go, and then you can pull it tight at the end. So just make pull that out. So Tam, we're working six single crochets into this chain space. So putting our yarn into that chain space. Yarn over, so pulling, hooking it and pulling it back through that loop, back through the chain space so that you have two loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through both, and that's a single crochet. And then going back into the same chain space, yarn over, pulling it back through, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both. That's two. We want six. Three. Four, five, and six. And now pull it tight. Now picking up the very first single crochet that we did. So, which is looking for that V. 
that E shape here. I'm going to put, going to put a hook under both, both those loops just in this section here. So we're doing round two now and we're going to put two single crochets into this very first stitch. So one and then two, another one in the exact same place. Two, and now we're going to work one single crochet into the next stitch along. And then one single crochet. And now we're going to go two single crochets into this stitch. And then one single crochet into the next and one single crochet into the last stitch. So then you should have eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're going to pause here. We're going to pull, we're going to weave in this end. That's why we left a tail. So pull it tight, grab your tapestry needle. And just weaving in and out of the back of your work, making it nice and secure. Really just weaving in and out, backwards and forwards until you feel like it's tucked away. And now just trim it. You don't have to trim it really close because it's going to be on the inside. You're not going to see it. All right, so continuing, we want to do two rounds with eight single crochets. So just doing one single crochet into every stitch. You want to do that twice. So I usually count to 16 if I can be bothered putting a stitch marker in. So one, I'm just doing single crochets to every stitch around, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, and do one more round of, well, like I said, count to 16 and just keep going. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, and 16. So now we're up to round four. So this time we're going to do a decrease to bring it back to six stitches. So we decrease is joining two stitches together and we're doing a single crochet decrease. So I'm going to put my hook into the first stitch of the round, yarn over, pull up a loop. So you've got two loops on your hook. And I'm going into the very next stitch along, putting my hook, yarning over, pulling up a loop. So you've got three stitches on your hook and then yarn over and pull through all three and that's joined those two stitches together. So that's one decrease. Now we're going to do a single crochet, just a normal single crochet into the next stitch, then a normal single crochet into the stitch after that. And now we're going to do another decrease. So into the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, into the second stitch, yarn over, pull up another loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Now just one single crochet into the next two stitches and you should have six stitches. 
six. All right. So at this point, because that hole is getting, I just put a little bit of stuffing in the bottom of the hand just to give it some nice shape. Don't need very much, just very little. I usually use the back of my my hook to just put it, push it in there. Yeah, you don't need much, just a little bit just to give it some nice shape. And now we're just going to do seven rounds of the um, seven rounds with one single crochet into every stitch. So I'm just going to usually just count it. So that would be, we could do 42. I just count per round. So we're just one, which is six stitches, two, Three, four, five, six. So that's one round. Then one. I'll do this one with you, and then I'll leave you to do the other five. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, so that's round two. So do five more rounds just like that, and then I will see you at the end of that. Okay, so that's the first arm finished. So to, I just usually do a slip stitch into the next stitch. So go into that next stitch, yarn over, pulling the front loop through the back loop, and then just cut a tail. You want to leave a tail long enough to so you can attach it to the blanket later on or animal. And just leave a tail and then I yarn over and I pull it, pull that tail all the way through that loop and pull tight. And that's our first hippo um, done or snuggy blanket arm. You can use it for many different. Snuggy blankets, this style. And now what you need to do is go ahead and make the second one. So just rewind the video and um, go ahead and make the second one and then I will get back to you to make the flower. Okay, so just finished making our second hippo yarn. Arm here, not yarn, sorry, arm. So we'll just put them aside and we're gonna work on our flower. So I've got a flower here actually, I have flowers all everywhere, always. Right, so I'm going to make one just in these colours. So you can use the same hook, it doesn't really matter. So 3.5 millimetre hook. I'm going to start off with the light purple. You can make it all the same colour if you want, it's up to you. Now I'm going to leave a tail because I want to, I want to be able to attach it to our hippo's head. So leave a tail. Then make your slip knot, which is two loops around your finger, pulling the back loop over the front loop, grabbing the tail, making a loop in front of the loop that's still on your finger, and then pulling the back loop through the front loop. We're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to put because I want five five petals, so it's going to put, However many petals you want is how many half double crochets you want to put into the second chain from the hook. So I want five, so I want five half double crochets. So we've got our two chains, we've got the hook, the first chain, and the second chain. We want to put five half double crochets into this second chain from the hook. So just follow that tail through to the bottom loop of the chain. And then just pull it out so you can see where you want to put it. So now to do half double, 
you this time you yarn over first so you have two loops on your hook go into that chain space yarn over and pull it back through so now you've got three and then yarn over and pull through all three loops and that's a half double crochet so we're doing another half double crochet and going in into that same chain space yarning over three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three that's two you want, I want five so it's completely up to you how many you want to do three four and five pull tight and put you want to join with a slip stitch the very first half double crochet so going under both those loops of the very first stitch that we just did Yarning over, pulling up a loop and pulling the front loop through the back loop. And this is where I'm going to change to my pink. Whoops, <laughs> crochet hook went flying. And this is. <laughs> so just leave a tail for weaving in. Yarn over and pull it through that loop. Now I'll drop the purple and pick up the pink. All right, we can even cut the purple off and just leave a little bit of a tail. Make sure I've got the right strand here that I'm cutting. Yeah, don't cut the center tail. Just put that out of the way because that's what you want to use to attach the hippo. We want to cut the yarn that is attached to the ball of wool. So just leave a little bit of a tail. Don't need much for weaving in. And now we're going to pick up the pink. We're going to chain two. One, two. And this counts as your first treble. So we're going to do a treble crochet. So this time we're going to yarn over three times. So you've got three loops. We're going into that very first double, half double crochet. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Now you've got four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over. Pull through the first two loops only, yarn over, pull through the last two loops only, and then yarn over and pull through the last three, and that's why it's called a treble. And then we're going to do, I'm going to put five trebles into the same stitch, so three, two twists, going into that stitch, pulling up a loop, yarn over. First two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two, yarn over, pull through the last. So doing it again. You can put as many or as little trebles into it. This is your first petal. So I like to work in odds. So this the chain two that we did is our first stitch. So I count that as one two, three, four, and I want to do seven, well, no, sorry, you want to do five, let's I'll count it at the end so I don't confuse you, so do, so do you chain two, then do five trebles, so, one, two, three, four, five, now do another chain two, one, Two, and then you want to do go into that same stitch and do a slip stitch. Let's pull that tight. And then pull the front loop through the back loop. And that forms your petal. And then if you count, including the chain twos on the other end, there should be seven. One, four, five, six, and seven. And that's going to tuck in like that to make a petal. Now we're going to work on the next petal. So one, two, doing five trebles into the same stitch.
I think I change this pattern every time I do it, but it still looks like the flower at the end, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> one more, then chain two again, and slip stitch into that exact same stitch. And chain two. Now we're going on to our third petal. And we're going to do five trebles into the next stitch along. And so how many trebles you put into each petal is how big your petal is going to be. Um, how, I guess how wide. How. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So chain two. So that And you'll see that they'll start to pop out. So one, two, I'm onto my fourth petal. And I'm doing five trebles into the next stitch along. Let's move that one out of the way so I'm getting a bit tangled. So one, two, three, four, five, so one more, then chain two, slip stitch to the same stitch. And then chain two, we're on our last petal now, five treble. And you could do four petals if you wanted, or three, or nine, it's up to you. Um, one, two, three, four, five, one more. And chain two, and this time I'm going to just slip stitch into that, the, the start. Just there. All right. So pull it tight. Now you can cut your yarn. Just leave a bit of a tail. Then yarn over and pull that tail all the way through and pull it tight. There's there's one crocheted flower. ready to sew on our hippo. Now what we want to do is weave in some of these ends. So we'll leave the center one because that's the one we want to attach to the hippo. And we're going to weave in these ones. So pull them tight. You should knot them together because they're not going to hurt anyone by knotting them. And they will stay secure. And then I'm going to knot this one together. And 
Alright, grab the tapestry needle. And I'm going to just because it's I'm going to weave this in and out of the purple so it doesn't show through the pink. Just the usual in and out. You'll get used to sewing in ends. It's just part of the process. Totally worth it though. Alright, now I'm going to cut it. You want to cut it fairly close because you don't want to see it on the hippo. Now I'm going to weave these in and out of the pink. one. All right. There we go. That's our flower ready to attach to our hippo. Now, I think if you the more trebles that you put in each petal, the flatter the flower is. If you in this one, I did actually do less, and so it's curled a bit more. So it's up to you. You can do. I'll tell you how many I did in this one. So you did the chain two. I did the chain two, and then I did one, two, three, four, and then another chain two. So I did one less and it made it a bit more curly but either or I think they both work and they're both pretty so that completes tutorial part two of a hippo snuggy here's my arms there's the arms and the flowers ready to go and then in part three of our hippo snuggie, we will work on the head and put her all together and be finished. It's getting very exciting. Thank you so much for putting up with me and um, sticking with me. Please like and subscribe and all that. It really does help me out more than you know. And I will look forward to seeing you in the last tutorial to finish off our hippo. Bye for now.